See, I'm going to come around this way. Casey's right. running. All right. All right, just stay even with me, though. There you go. Good shot. Good shot. Down here, we're about ooh, 20 miles, maybe east of Lafayette, Louisiana. We're heading down here, Eric and me, to do a woodcock hunt with my buddy Donald down here in the uh, Chappalaya River bottom. It's going to be a fun little trip. It's always neat when you get to come to Louisiana because it's anything you do down here is different than anything that you have ever done. And today is certainly not going to be any different, that's for sure. We officially start woodcock hunting through here. How much of it you want? Away, yeah. How much of it you want? I just want one like lengthy. Yeah, give us two of them. You want to try crawfish? Sure. Two of them. So they they also got alligators. Let's do one crawfish and one alligator. We got The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Hey, welcome to the G3 Sportsman. You know, when you think of upland bird hunting, I'm sure the first two species that come to mind are probably pheasant and quail. But down the list is a little bird that's every bit as worthy of an adversary to hunt as there is, and that's the woodcock. I'm sure a bunch of you guys out there that have bird hunted before have probably either flushed or jumped one and thought, what in the heck is that thing? But the woodcock is widely hunting throughout the Midwest and especially up in the Northeast. But come fall, when they start migrating south, there's no better place to go than the Atchafalaya River bottoms in South Louisiana. The woodcock is primarily found in the eastern half of the U.S. Its summer range is from southern Missouri to as far north as Manitoba, Canada. But come fall, these little birds migrate south, and here in the Indian Bayou on the Atchafalaya River in Louisiana, you'll find the majority of them. My longtime buddy, Donald Hedge of Zachary, Louisiana, has been hunting woodcock down here for some time now, and as soon as we get rigged up, we're going after them. This is going to be fun. We're fixing to get ready, get loaded up. Hopefully we can use plenty of fiokis right here. <laughs> Got the 20 gauges. That's what we're using. And close, uh, the, the shots will be no more than probably 20 yards or whatever exactly. when they get up and go. Yep. But they get up and really get it. I mean, it's not just sitting out here just shooting you know, fish in a barrel. I mean, these, these things and get up and fly, don't On they? a warmer day, they're spookier, so they fly better. And the area we're gonna hunt, they, they really, they're really gonna get up quick. And uh, hopefully we can get close enough, we can get a lot of video of them, but it's gonna be thick. But uh, if there's enough of them in there, we can get enough of them to make it look good. It'll be fun. I'm ready to turn him. I'm ready to turn him loose and get going. Let's go, Benny. What's his name? Ben. Oh, Ben. At least you got plenty of water to get him cool. Yeah. It's, uh, so all this is core land that we're hunting? All, all of it's core land. And he knows where to look for him. He's, he's just... Go, Ben. To me, this is some ben. of the prettiest country to kind of hunt in, because you don't see this where we're from. The little palmetto bushes and old mosses growing on everything down here, and it's it's just swampy. It's it's kind of spooky, Go, but it's pretty at the same time. It's really neat in here. I'm sitting here just talking, lob the wade right over my boot. He's pointed. Yeah, I see him right here. There you go! Female! Dead in here, Ben. Ben! Dead in here. Dead. I saw you when you hit him. There's one in front of you. Got a point in front of us. Whoop! Different bird. There you go. I'm not kidding you. This is just as fast. I got that one down right there. Throw your hat. Throw your hat right did there. Did you shoot? I shot him. I Where did, did you too. Shoot? Throw your hat right there. Got okay. a bird right there behind you. We got birds down. Marking them. All right, now that one went down right there. Go get him, Donald. I'll look for this one. Just bear with us a second here. Let me. <laughs> we got birds down, birds everywhere. Crazy. We'll have another point before ben. we can get Hup. this one. So hang on just a second. Hop, Ben. It's a good one. It's a, a long, long beat for getting 
worms out of the ground. And look at them big eyes. That's what we look for when they're on the ground. They got really large eyes. They eat at night. They're a nocturnal bird mainly. But, uh, and their feathers come off real easy. The dog don't like to retrieve them because their feathers come off so easy. But they're not, you know, they're a little bit bigger than a quail. That's about it. It covers up the whole hand. It's a remarkable little bird. I never hunted them until I moved down here. I love them. Yeah, he's got him. He's got him. Good job, Ben. Way to find him. Way to find him. Man, alive. Good job. Good job. And a boy. <laughs> How about that? I'll tell you what in here, not only you need a good dog to point these birds, you better have a good dog to find these birds. These things are tough. Unbelievable. You would think a bird, that's a pretty decent sized bird, but a bird that small, they can flat carry the mail when they get out of here now. I'm not kidding you. You think there'll be some more in here? Yeah, I think we'll see three right We've here. We've jumped three just crossing in here. He got one right here. Got a point right here. And we got another point right here. I think I loaded my gun from the last. I, don't, I was just thinking the same thing. I don't remember if I reloaded. Hang on, let me look. Yeah. I'm good. He don't See how he's acting? He don't know where that bird is. He smells a bird. I'd say the bird may be way over here. Watch it. Show me the bird, Ben. Show me the bird. Watch. Well, I don't know, Dom. Well, see the breeze, that breeze come through. He may be just burled up right in there, though. There you go. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Excellent shot. Watch Good. where he's down. I know where he is. I had I to wait till he cleared Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine Eric's glad you cleared him too. That story every time it always flies to the cameraman. I tell you what, I'm kind of proud of that shot. We got him. We got him. Hey, we got him. Good job. Good job. That's another female. Yep. No bands on any of them yet. No. Pretty bird though. <laughs> All females, every one of them. In this good little spot here. My gosh, what? Another bird in there. You think there's another one? Wouldn't be surprised. Watch how he's acting. Could be another bird. This is all right right here. It is. It really is. Okay, we just covered about 30 yards here. We need to go on back circle. in here a little farther. Might be some more. We'll just let Ben dictate where we need to go. I'm telling you, Woodcock down here in South Louisiana is... is is the way to go. It can get a little rough, you know, in some of the walking and stuff, but really, if you're seeing birds, what difference does it make? It don't matter. Sweating? Gosh, are we sweating? Well, you're sweating. I know why you're sweating. That way, 265. You're sweating, you're 265. <laughs> well, here, <laughs> that'll add a little more weight to you. You know, another little treat when you're in uh, Louisiana is the cuisine. Man, no place on earth has food like they have. One of my favorite little dishes is called boudin. This is boudin. This is what they've got on there is a, is a skin on there. And then all the stuff is just in there. We're not real sure exactly <laughs> what is in boudin. So if you get down here, Louisiana, regardless of what you're doing, most of these convenience stores will have boudin. Get you a thing of crackers, a little thing of boudin, and enjoy one of life's little simple pleasures right here that you can only get in Louisiana. Oh yeah. Good. That's what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> boudin, first time. You'll like it. Mmm. Not bad. It ain't bad, is it? <laughs> Good. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. That's real good. I knew, I, knew we messed, I knew we messed up by just getting two sticks. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff, isn't it? It is. It's good. Can make man. a meal out of that. <laughs> That's what we do. Hey, Boudin is the way to go now. You can't go to Louisiana without at least trying some. Anyway, let's get back to the hunt. I bet by now we've probably got another point. Another point. Already told you. Right through here, about another 35, 40 yards. Come on, let's go get it. He's, he's a little bit to your right, Donald. See, I'm going to come around this way. In case he's running. All right. All right, just stay even with me, though. <laughs> Look, every time, that's how they go get up, ain't they? I'm just stepping over that log. Pitch him up, man. Let's go. Pitch him up. Good job, man. Good job. Come on. He don't like him feathers. He don't like him feathers. He don't like him feathers in his mouth. Another <laughs> woodcock. Man. Is this not fun? I'll tell you what, heck with them briar hunting. I'm telling you, we got them out here in the open. This it don't is, get no better than this. I'm telling you, it really doesn't. What's the limit? Three apiece. Three apiece. Hey, we're going to take a little break, kind of get our wits gathered about us. And hopefully when we come back, we'll have us another point down here in South Louisiana, Chapalaya River Bottom, Woodcock hunting. Be right back. <laughs> Let's find out that one. <laughs> Got back close to these briars. Yeah. yeah. Let me get on the other side of this tree right here. All right. Go ahead. Sun's right in my eyes. <laughs> I know. Like we need an excuse. I'm seeing if I could see. That's why I was going to hope we could get a picture of him on the ground. I'd like to be able to see. He's in the wind. You always look for that eye. It's funny, in that shade, you can see that eye. Boy, I'm not, if, unless it goes this way, I'm not going to have a shot in that. And I mean, they hold so tight. He's oh. acting funny, but I'm pretty sure it's a bird. His nose, of course, he's getting the, the, the winds this way, coming here, so he may be underneath this. Hang on, let me kick it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Boy, he'll fly right up my <laughs> pants leg. Come ahead, Ben. Let's go, Ben. Come here, Ben. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come you here. See? Yeah. Okay. Easy. I got it. Oh, it did. He knows the wolf. All right, you ready? Wolf Ben. He's ready right in here. You want Ben to get him or can you? No, get him? don't let Ben flush you. All right, <laughs> man, you can't get no better than that. <laughs> Way to go, Benny. He pointed him, he was about this close. How cool was that? That's how, how dead still they get. I kicked that limb, it never moved. You know, in order to get that really good bird dog, it takes training. And in order to get a dog to hold point as close like you just saw, it takes time with them, and it all starts when they're puppies. So if you're looking for a puppy and you don't know what to look for, or you don't really know what to start them out on when they're, when they're young, we'll get these questions answered by a really good, dearly departed friend of mine that's no longer with us, Randall Boggess in Adamsville, Tennessee. Randall raised uh, and trained bird dogs for many years, and I can assure you that the, the words that he spoke back then still ring true today. Well, a puppy, you can start uh, you can start your preliminary training with a puppy when you when you bring it home. Uh, you want him to come to you. You want him to follow you. Uh, if you're out in the yard, or you want him to come when you call. All those things can be done just uh, out in the yard playing with a with a baby. 
a lot of people will uh, will let them point a wing. That's uh, that's kind of a, I guess it's just playing with the puppy is what it's doing. But it intensifies points sometimes. It lets you determine uh, when he goes on point on the wing. It lets you determine maybe what he's going to look like, uh, and how much style he'll have. One of the more important, most important things I think a person can look for or should look for is the uh, is the pedigree of the dog. If you'll find a dog that's bred well, one that uh, has the bloodline to do what you expect it to do, then uh, that gives you a lot better chance of having a puppy that will suit your needs. Another thing that's important uh, with a puppy or really any young dog is uh, when you're working them or when you start your training is uh, Keep it. Keep your sessions short to keep them uh, interested. Uh, if you make your training sessions too long, they lose interest and become uh, they get distracted, and that's not necessarily good. Uh, and keep it fun. Uh, if you put try to put pressure on a young dog, uh, uh, it, he thinks he starts relating the pressure to the training, so he 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 gets to the point he don't like it. He's afraid that uh, everything's okay until you start training sessions and then you get upset. So, so keep these sessions fun for the dog. Uh, keep your attitude, uh, dogs can read your attitude. They know when you're upset. They can tell in your voice what kind of, what your attitude is like. So, uh, so maintain an attitude that, uh, that the dogs can, uh, can enjoy their training. We've probably walked 20 yards since the, since the last point get ready to come back over here to the trail. Last point, this is our limit bird if we can get him. So we're gonna see if we can slip in here and get our last bird Easy. here. You know where he's at, Donald? He's in his huge brush pile, whoop. Easy. Well, they'll probably save the best for last. We'll come around the back side of this brush pile now for this last bird. And of course, I'm gonna be the flush dog and I'm gonna see if he's gonna come out. I ain't got no idea where he's gonna come out on we, this we one. We never so. know. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. There he goes, right there, don't. Good <laughs> shot. <laughs> the first one wasn't. <laughs> it's, it's so different, you know. We love to quail hunt, pheasant hunt and stuff, but I tell you, if you want to just try something a little different with your pointing dogs, and any of your any of your retreat, or your uh, your pointing dogs will point these birds. Yeah, yeah, They'll any point of them. these birds. A lot of people use Britneys. I'm just fond of pointers, and that's all I use is pointers, and they'll get in there just as uh, good as any other dog in the country. Let's get the heck out of here. Right. I'm about ready to drink some of this <laughs> sea water. water right here. <laughs> Crud. <laughs> I don't even care if it gets over my boots now. I'm just ready to go. Hey, that's all we got for today's show. Had a great time down there in South Louisiana hunting woodcock and cutting up with the guys, and uh, I, I do still highly recommend the, <laughs> the boudin, no doubt. But uh, just remember, get online, check us out on the web, for any shows, past shows, any equipment that we may be using, any stories. But that's all we got. But just remember, we'll be somewhere next week, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. The Boudin Shop and Country Store. If you think we're gonna pass that up. I don't even know what that is, but they sell it. Uh, no, one each. One each, that's you think that'll be enough for the amount of food damn we got? I'll leave it back around again.